so today is a target haul video and I'm on the squeaky chair because it is much more comfortable so got some newer stuff here in this bag I also have some stuff that's been out for a few months this stuff I couldn't even tell you when I got this. I've had these for a long time and I never made a video about them. They got put away somewhere so I've got these so these will also be in the video. We're going to start off with all of these. I even wrote sticky notes on them that they came from Target. That's how, that's how long ago I've had them. Got some cool matchbox trucks here too. I got two of them, yeah. Two matchbox trucks, and then the rest are um, Hot Wheels. Three matchbox vehicles, I guess. It's got three um, 50th race team vehicles. Now, this orange one here, I'm not familiar with. Um, here's the. Uh, 50th race team collection and um, I think this is yeah this is the orange version of rise and climb I have the blue version somewhere but um, yeah there's the blue version which I already have I also already have the uh, Corvette um, okay this is the concept that's a new model and the Firebird is right there. So, still working on getting this collection. I could just go on the internet and buy them all, but that takes the fun out of the hunt. Um, and as of right now, I'm not opening these up. I may buy two of these and open one up. I like this car, except these wheels almost make the car look funny. But, um... I do like the car. It's a cool looking car. It's the 70 Pontiac Firebird. And I hope they continue to use this uh, um, blue color with the uh, matte finish on it. It looks quite nice, I think. They uh, started, started doing that with the uh, 50th Race Team Series, but I hope they continue to do that after the end of the year. There's the orange rise and climb. If you know anything about why this one's orange, is this a chase car or something? Something hard to find that I just stumbled upon? I don't know. I just bought it because it was different. And this is the Hot Wheel 50 concept. And um, I watched a special on TV. I believe this is the car that they were designing which I wasn't really all that impressed with. I feel like this was supposed to represent 50 years of Hot Wheels. This was their concept they came up for, came up with for that. I feel like they could have come up with something a little... It's certainly original, it's certainly different, but I don't know, I'm just not that into it. I just bought it because it's in the series. And um, uh, I watched the show uh, about them designing it. So um, the rest of these I plan on opening up. So I'm going to move this truck so that nothing happens to it because I just glued the sides on it. So why don't we start with the last Hot Wheel the classic 55 Nomad and they have made this car since 1969 here's a reproduction of the uh, 1969 version this was in the uh, vintage series that they had a while back but um, uh, so they've made this car for a while originally it had a opening hood on it 
one I don't believe, no, this one does not have an opening hood. But, um, and they've made uh, this model here for a long time. It was discontinued for a while, but um, they started making it again. Ten, uh, ten would have been oh eight. Uh, there's probably a year on it somewhere. It just says sixty nine and seventeen, but they made it a while. There's a early two thousands release of it. In the uh, Heat Fleet series, they call it the 55 Nomad. This one, they said classic 55 Nomad. And this one, they called it classic Nomad. So I guess this is a combination of all of those things. So this is Hot Wheels with Flames series. Hot Wheels Flames series, I should say. This is 6 of 10 in the series. And this is from 2018, because it's got the 50th logo on it. We're going to open this guy up here. I guess. There is a code. I, have, I haven't been on that website in so long. It'll take me forever to update the collection on there. Um, but, uh, here it is, a little something on the wheel there. I like those yellow wheels, and the, uh, olive green flames, I think, look pretty cool. A big sunroof in it. No back window, it's never, never has came with a back window. It's like, we've got green colored windows, they looked yellow from the outside but it's sort of a greenish color looking in more flames on the hood got a chrome base on it there now oh, this says Chevy Nomad <laughs> which I know that's what it is but they all say something different I guess but that's okay it makes life interesting now, now we're going to go with the Matchbox trucks, or cars. This is the only car. The rest of them are trucks. This is in the Road Trip series. This is the 2018 Nissan Leaf. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the, the Leaf is a electric car or some type of hybrid vehicle. I never really cared too much for it, so I never took the time to do a lot of research into it. I just read about it in a magazine one time, I think. I just got it because it was different. So this car looks like it's got a, uh, what they would call a glass top in a real car. As you can see, see through the roof there. kind of different. <clears throat> it's kind of an odd looking car I believe. That's that's how I feel about it. Uh, there's the grill and the headlights. I wonder why there's only some blue in the grill. You can see a little bit of blue there. And there's the back of it. I have leaf on the license plate then Nissan and what does this say this says zero emissions okay this is the electric car the zero emissions car here's the bottom of it 2018 Nissan Leaf and we're gonna go first with the Glass King Matchbox likes to use King in lots of their truck names for some reason. Aqua King was the water truck. Glass King is the uh, window truck. It's 
so it's a very light truck it feels sort of cheap at first but it's it's not it just it's you know this back end is obviously plastic so it makes it feel a little lighter than what you would expect it to <clears throat> but um they use this chassis on lots of things so it probably oh crap it probably does not have any name on it no they use this chassis for or this uh, body here for they used it for a tow truck they used it for a dump truck um, they've used it for numerous things that's the ones I have uh, I've got a spare tire there and then there's the uh, windows in there the blue plastic and this is the INC construction um, they've started putting that on lots of their trucks So I saw this and I just had to have it. I thought this was cool. It's simple yet cool. And then we have another. I'm gonna. I've never even heard of an international E star. But um, I'm assuming E means it's some type of electric vehicle. And since it is odd looking, it probably is an electric vehicle. I'm trying to think of an electric vehicle that doesn't look somewhat odd. I don't have a problem, you know, I'm glad that they're trying to, you know, be easy on the environment and all that, but they could make the electric vehicles look like the regular vehicles. This just looks so cartoony to me. I've never seen one before, but I just think this looks very cartoony. Personally, I like the other Matchbox delivery truck better. The old Model A van, and um, they both deliver Matchbox trucks. This one just looks a little cooler than this one does. But that's just my personal opinion. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Uh, drivers wanted www.matchbox.com. And then we've got the little symbol there. Nothing on it because there's nothing hazmat related about diecast vehicles. <laughs> and I wish the door opened on the back, but it doesn't. A lot of the old matchbox trucks, the doors used to open on, but I guess they've done away with opening parts for some reason. There's that side, and there's the front. It just looks so cartoony to me. Oh, there. E-Star Electric Van. Hmm. Maybe I should read the base, and then I would know that it actually is an electric van. I couldn't find the uh, box truck I was thinking of, but this opens pretty much just like the box truck did. Looks a bit dirty in there, but um, it opens up. It wouldn't be that hard to make this open up, but that would mean they had to do a little bit more, put a little bit more effort into making it, and it would cost them more money, I suppose. So, like I said, all of these came from Target, and these ones I'm about to show you now are from a few months ago. That's quite a few sticky notes. So, why don't we just start off with something different. The 1985 Honda City Turbo 2. And this certainly is an odd looking vehicle. But it is so odd that it is cool. Uh, there, you can... So you can pause and read that if you would like to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open this up here. This is a new casting for 2018. usually try to get one of each of the new models, but I've kind of done away with attempting that because it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to try to gather all of the two of each one, and it's expensive. So it's very small, very cute. 
And I love these new wheels that they've came out with. I forget what they call these. Uh, there you go. A red wing on the top of it and a little sunroof. 85 Honda City Turbo 2. Now we'll go with my favorite in this in this collection here. This is the 86 Chevy Monte Carlo Super Sport. And um, this is in the, the 80s decade. I'm bad and forget what they called this series. Luckily I have my cheat sheet here. And they called it the Throwback Collection. And so far that's the only one I've found. Well, no. I found the van. I've looked all over the place for that Silverado and have not found it yet. It's funny, some of the series I can find the whole thing, like the uh, gold, black and gold collection, the original series, and which one did I also find? The uh, Stars and Stripes collection. I found every one of those in that series, at least one of them. Some of the cars in those series you just can't find. Glad I found the Monte Carlo, though. There's the rest of them in this series. And, um... We're gonna open this up. I've had this one for a while. I just haven't went to the trouble of... I've had all of these for a while. So I like this um, finish that's on this car. It's kind of a satin, it's not really matte, but it's kind of a satin finish to it. And um, it's almost like the uh, finish they used on the old Cool Classics series that they used to make. But, uh, this one, the hood does not come off. Some of the Monte Carlos, they made the hood, or the not the hood, but the whole front clip came off of the car. This one does not do that. I think they did away with that quite a while ago, though. Nice red interior. I wish they still did red interiors in the cars. They don't. I haven't seen any new cars with red interior for a while. Not a not real ones, anyways. Monte Carlo. So a nice looking car. Very nice looking car. And we also have a Nissan. You know, I'm actually not a big Nissan fan, but um, you probably don't believe me. I've got Nissan, Nissan, Nissan. I'm really not much of a foreign car type of person, but evidently this was the day of finding Nissans. I don't know. Target sells lots of Nissans. That's a blame it on Target. <laughs> uh, then and now series this is the 6 of 10 the Nissan Skyline GTR R33 and I like this purple color here I'm go ahead and open this up oh, that was simple famous back end of a GTR with the four headlights. There is something... Oh, there's some kind of stripe going, stripe going down the uh, paint there. I thought there was just a hair or something on there, but it's not. Got GTR on the uh, bottom license plate there, and then GTR again beside the taillights. Uh, we got, I love this purple color here. It's a very nice metallic purple. And I like how they've already painted the headlights so that I don't have to bother with doing that. Kind of a charcoal, dark charcoal gray base. 
And then we got the Nissan, 96 Nissan 180SX Type X in the Nightburner series. Cool little race car there. Here's the back of it. So hopefully the camera doesn't die before the uh, video is over, but I'll try to get through it. The uh, tail lights are not painted on this one. I can do that, I just would rather not. <laughs> so we've got lots of red stripes going around this car. I like the little pop-up headlights on this car. Advan. Yokohama There's the bottom. I, again, I like these wheels. So, uh... There's what I got at Target. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. And check out the other videos on my channel. So, uh, have a good day.